The H1N1 vaccine will soon be available to more people in Tippecanoe County. Julie Kreinsen has been following this story. Julie, when can anyone get the vaccine? Nicole, Indiana State Health Commissioner Judy Monroe announced that H1N1 vaccine will be available for the general public next week. Tippecanoe County Health Administrator Ron Kripe says everyone should get vaccinated. We're encouraging people, even if they feel great, you know, go ahead and get the vaccine. More than 45,000 Tippecanoe County residents in the high-risk group have already received the H1N1 vaccine. Now that it will be available for the general public, Kripe says more locations can offer the vaccine and more people can get vaccinated. They're going to expand those who can uh, order the uh, H1N1 vaccine and also administer the H1N1 vaccine and so effective again December 20th pharmacies will uh, be part of the team along with the local health department and the medical community so we're excited about that. Kripe says although it seems like H1N1 flu cases have decreased that could change. We don't know how this virus is going to react right now it's kind of in the dormant stage but uh, you know if history repeats itself, pandemics comes in waves of three. This is the second wave. So Kripe says it's best to be prepared. Just because it has died down a little bit, that's no reason to let your guard down. Uh, like I so said, we can't predict viruses, especially those like the H1N1. Tippecanoe County residents who didn't fit the high-risk group say they're glad the vaccine will now be offered to everyone. I think it's a good idea. Um, it, it might have, the peak might have passed, but I still think it's a good idea for people to get inoculated. I'm happy for that because actually until now I've kind of fallen in that group that really didn't seem to be necessary. Kripe says he isn't sure when the health department will hold a clinic offering vaccines to the general public, but some clinics are taking place throughout the area. For more information on flu clinics, go to our website, WLFI.com. A recent recall of some H1N1 flu vaccines is not due to safety concerns. Indiana received about 10,000 doses of the affected lots, including some in Clinton, Benton, and Tippecanoe counties. The affected vaccines were found to have decreased levels of antigen, and tests indicated they lost some strength. But the health department says they believe the vaccines are still effective in simulating a, prote a protective response. Children between six months to nine years old who received a recalled vaccine do not need to take any action other than complete the two-dose immunization series. Julie Kreisen, News Channel 18.